Seven years after finding this 2,400 square foot forest lined house, Dina and Sully have become divided over its ability to live up to what they now need from a home. When I first saw this house, I thought, ooh, there's lots of possibility here. I love the location of the house. It's very close to downtown. It's close to many of the conveniences that we enjoy in the area. Seeing this house seven and a half years ago, we knew that it needed a little bit of work, but we really haven't done much in the way of remodeling. And all of a sudden, that's just a problem. This house just has so much that's needed to be done to it. When you first come into the house, instantly you're in the living room, but it's a very dark space. We've got this massive fireplace that doesn't allow openness to the other areas. We need to open it up more. What's knocking down a wall? Dina and I both work out of the home. So I'm currently doing meditation consulting. And as you exhale. In this living room, we have meditation classes. We bring the community in. When she's here working, she needs a quiet, peaceful environment. And I'm in sales, so that can sometimes get a little louder. It's right on the other side of this thin little wall. We need office space that's separate from each other. Yeah, I agree that the office situation is difficult. But again, it could move to another room. The master suite needs updating badly. All the wood is dark. The space is small. Our ensuite is small space for two of us to try to get ready. We're always in each other's way. It's a miserable little room. It's true. We would like an oasis of a master bathroom suite. But no big deal. We can make it happen. Hey, isn't this nice? It's not bad, other than the step down. Well, what's wrong with the step down? You can't possibly tell me that you would do this if you were building a house. The kitchen. It needs huge Good. updating, right? No, it needs to be gone and then put a new one in. All right, oh. so keep the door, keep the skylight, lose everything else. I have to agree. <laughs> Hillary and David have seen the house and think they know what this couple truly needs. The question is, do Sully and Dina agree? OK, so we've been through your house, and it needs renovations in almost every square inch of it. Mm -hmm. What are the must-haves to get you out of this house? Well, we need a minimum of four bedrooms, three bathrooms, including a master bath, an open, upgraded kitchen area, some space for group meditations, two offices, in a comparable neighborhood. <laughs> did you hear that list? I did. <laughs> OK, so I've done an evaluation on your home. The current value is 370000 How's that sound? Low, but that's the value. What is the budget for that mansion that you want me to find you? $550,000. $550,000 is a lot of money, but you are looking for a lot of house. I know you can find us something. So tell me what you actually need me to do for you. Open and renovate the kitchen. Open and brighten the living area for meditation. Extend and renovate the master bedroom and bathroom. Create a separate office space for both myself and Dina. Create a mudroom. Renovate the guest bathroom. Create two additional bedrooms and update the basement bathroom. Is that it? That's it for now. So what's my budget? 160000 With her plans green-lit across the board, Hillary's team wastes no time tearing into the heart of this home. And as the dated kitchen, divided basement, and tired lower-level bathroom take their final bow, not far away, David is hoping his stage is set to prove to Dina that there's life beyond her house. So what do you think? Nice lot and a house that pretty much delivers everything that you guys need. It's moving ready. All good things. Let's go. At 3,500 square feet, there's no denying this move-in ready house was built for family and features three bedrooms and three bathrooms, including a master bath. Vastly improving on the daily function are an open concept kitchen and family room, a bonus room, multiple office spaces, a meditation space, and a screened-in porch overlooking the attractive tree-lined lot. What do you think so far? It's a good start. I like the light wood floors. You've got a dining room over there that's perfect for entertaining. Over to the right, you have the formal living room area. It's a little small. That is by no stretch of the imagination small. This is nice. Lots of natural light. It's gorgeous. I like the higher ceilings. You flow from your family room right into your eat-in kitchen. This is nice space. It's a functional layout, and I'm sure someone will love it, but not this someone. OK. All the way over there is your office. That will work. That mm. works great. Dina, this is going to be where the meditation is going to happen. This is great space. It would be incredible for meditation. Even a pool table. That's a good idea. I like that. <laughs> oh, you are funny. <laughs> <laughs> this house is listed at 610000 so that's over our budget. And we need a pool. 
Okay, we are moving on to find you a house with a pool. David is confident his latest find delivers everything Dina could possibly need to move. What do you think? Well, so far, so good, but we still have to go inside. Yes, we do. Let's go. This house is 3,500 square feet of move-in ready space, including three bedrooms and three bathrooms with a master bath. Upping the family function are an open concept entertaining space, a modern kitchen family room combination, two offices, and a basement-based teen hangout, all on a gorgeous lot with the all-important pool. Come on in. What do you think? The light's good, it's open. And I see a pool out there, which we will look at. Over here, you have your formal dining room area. It is nice that you can see the outside in, the higher ceilings. We won't have that. Office number one. I think I could work happily here. <laughs> or I could work happily here. <laughs> More to see. OK. This beautiful space is going to be for the teens. And look, room for a pool table. Perfect. It's definitely working. Plumbing is completed, flooring goes down, and cabinets come in. Not far away, the framing of the annex garage space is complete, and the rooms are wired, plumbed, and walled up. Downstairs, the bedrooms, teen space, and bathroom are well on their way to completion. And while it's full steam ahead at home, not far away, David is showing them house after house in an attempt to please the difficult Dina. I really like the brick, but we've got a road very close by. Do you go places? You need roads. <laughs> <laughs> Here you have a three-piece washroom. Not sure about the uh, wallpaper. Hey, really? come on, it's unique. I think he can find something for us that has everything we want. Good luck, David, because this is not a winner for you. David thinks he's finally found the house that even difficult Dina can't argue with. How wonderful is this house? It's got a lot of curb appeal. It has a ton of curb appeal. And it does have everything you need, I promise. Well, we'll see that when we look inside. At 3,600 square feet, this house is certainly family ready and features three bedrooms and three bathrooms, including a master bath. Ensuring the family function are a stunning open concept main floor and two separate office spaces, all on a tree-lined lot with a gorgeous pool, not far from their current neighborhood. Come on in. Yeah, it feels really warm. It does. Mm -hmm. So inviting? Definitely inviting. So then you like it? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. This is great. And, and the island's beautiful. And if you look at the connection that you have from here, you have to admit it's an upgrade over what you currently have. Yes. Yes, it is. You could slide in your socks all the way to the end. Yes, you could. The master bedroom. Oh, wow. This is gorgeous. I think I like it. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hold on a second. Let's back that one up. Yeah. This is worthy of more than just an I like it. I, I'm giving you what I can give you right now. Well, try harder. <laughs> <laughs> this house is listed at 595000 Oh, that's less than I thought. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And below the top end of your budget, which means you're going to have a little bit of money to sink into the third floor. And really, you have everything that you need. You did a pretty good job with this one, I have to say. Dina and Sully head home, where they'll finally get to take in their own place now that Hillary's extensive renovations are finally complete. Come on in. Thank you. Come on in to a nice open living room and hallway that no longer has that huge wall in the way that was your closet. Yeah, we had a monstrous closet there that just yeah, broke it's up great. everything. So you can yeah. see straight through out the back from the front, so that's really nice too. So now everything is nice and open, and so we can get as much natural light flowing through to every area of the house. And if you go on through, you'll see how that affects the kitchen area. You needed a large kitchen with lots of flow and lots of storage, and that's what we've given you. It's great that the wall's down, so it makes yeah. a big difference. What has changed here is all of the counter space. We've got a lot more counter space than we ever had yeah, before. Yeah, we really needed the more counter space. So I'm hoping that this will be a fun place. We can do fun. This now is your really large transition mudroom. Wow. That's great. This is a lot bigger than I expected. Now, your laundry are hidden now. Ah, great. They do the job. You don't have to know that it's actually happening. And then, Sully, we have your office. Uh -huh. Go take a look. Oh, wow. This is ah. great. And it's my space. That's so you can be productive <laughs> and loud. <laughs> <laughs> So now it's time to deal with your new family. Ah, I like it. 
This is great. This is their hangout space. Then we come into this study area. It's pretty nice. This is awesome. The most important thing is that they have their independence, yeah. you have your privacy, and they have a place that they feel good about hanging out in and bringing their friends in. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Your new bathroom. Yeah, it's a good yeah. space. We like it. That'll work. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. So the idea is that it can be used by more than one person at the same time. This is great. All right, so here we have our bedroom number one. Nice space. Yeah, that's a great mm -hmm. space. So in this one, obviously, it's been dressed to be a boy's room. But just as easily, it could be a girl's room. Yeah. And bedroom number two. It's a good okay. size. This so you now good. have a home that will work for you. It'll work mm -hmm. for your new family, which is exciting. And Very ready exciting. to happen any minute, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, we're ready to go. That is now the current value of your home wow. with the renovation that yeah. has been done. The pre-renovation value of their home was $370,000. With a renovation budget of $160,000, the new estimated value of their home is $555,000. That increases the value of their house by $185,000. You guys can afford that house. Yeah. That's great. While Hillary certainly made good on her promise to make this house more ready for incoming foster kids, budgetary limitations meant she was unable to renovate the master bedroom and ensuite or make any improvements to the guest bathroom. David, on the other hand, seemed to find them everything they could ever want. However, on close inspection, it only had three bedrooms instead of four, did not have a completed meditation space, and was priced above their original budget. Okay, so decision made. Decisions made. And are you going to love it? Or are you going to list it? Well, we've decided to... List it. Yes! <laughs> I love hearing that. And with a British accent, it's even better. Everything's better with a British accent. Oh, that's true. You noticed? That's true. Well, we really opened up the space here, and that's wonderful, but there were so many features in that house that we couldn't ignore. That house really has a lot more space, a lot more functionality that we need. It's perfect. 